June 5th, sunrise at Fuji Speedway. A white Lexus prototype called Sakura 01 rolls onto the cold asphalt, cameras humming. Two gentle laps to warm the tires, then the gate lifts. The mission is clear. Drive and keep driving until the battery begs for mercy. Air conditioning stays on, music plays, speed limits stay legal. Halfway down the coast, the crew makes one pit stop. They plug into a 350 kilowatt charger. 10 minutes, just long enough to slam a vending machine coffee and swap GoPro cards. Then the car is gone again. 16 hours later, Sakura 01 glides back through the same gate. The trip meter shows 1,202 kilometers, about 745 miles. The battery still reads 12%. No hypermiling tricks, no truck drafting, just drive. The engineers whoop like they've won Le Mans because this run turns Toyota's solid state battery from rumor into record. Now consider this. Most electric cars today use a liquid electrolyte. Think of a shake that ferries lithium ions from one side of the cell to the other. That shake can leak, overheat, or ignite. Toyota swaps the shake for a cracker-thin ceramic sheet. The ions still sprint, but nothing sloshes and nothing burns. Lab numbers say roughly 450 watt-hours per kilogram, about 50% better than the best liquid packs on the road right now. More energy in the same weight means longer drives without heavier batteries. Safety jumps too. The ceramic won't catch fire even if it's pierced or overheated. Insurance analysts already pencil in double-digit premium drops once solid state goes mainstream. Remember those viral videos of scooters smoking like backyard grills? The ceramic layer kills that headline. It gets even better. In the Fuji test, Sakura 01 rocketed from 10% to 80% charge in 10 minutes. Picture ordering fries and walking back to a full battery. A current model Tesla with the newest 4680 cells needs more than 20 minutes for the same boost. And that's on an empty supercharger. A 10 minute top up rewrites road trips. One stop covers New York to Orlando, Los Angeles to Seattle, one leg stretch in Portland, then you're done. Now stick with me because the factory story is wild. In February, Itamitsu, a Japanese energy giant, broke ground on a pilot plant near Himeji. The line will spit out a thousand tons of lithium sulfide electrolyte every year, enough for hundreds of thousands of cars. A twin plant in Kentucky fires up in 2027. Old batteries bake for 16 hours in giant ovens to dry their wet slurry. Toyota's dry-coated electrodes cure in 40 minutes. Factory cost drops about 30%, floor space is cut in half, and energy use plummets. Think of swapping a slow pizza oven for a turbo air fryer. I know what you're thinking. This new shiny will break all the time. But Toyota's lab cells have passed 1,000 full charges with under 10% capacity loss. That's 800,000 kilometers of real driving, 20 laps around planet Earth. If the car lasts 15 years, the pack should too. In other words, you'll retire before the battery does. Money talks, so let's talk numbers. Market watchers expect average battery packs to cost below $100 per kilowatt hour by 2026. Toyota's dry process could beat that. At $95 per kilowatt hour, an electric RAV4-sized SUV costs the same as its gas twin right off the dealer lot. And that's before you save on fuel and oil changes. Carbon math smiles as well. A recent life cycle study shows Toyota ceramic pack can cut battery production emissions almost 40%, even though it uses about 15% more lithium. Less energy-hungry ovens plus sulfur, yes, plain old refinery sulfur, do the trick. It gets crazier. QuantumScape just fired up its Cobra separator line. The new furnace bakes ceramic sheets 25 times faster than the previous model and fits in a space the size of a shipping container. Samsung SDI shipped 900 watt-hour per liter cells to a European supercar brand for a 2027 launch. Over in China, CATL's second-generation Shenxing pack guzzles more than 300 miles in five minutes and costs about half as much as nickel-rich packs. The battery arms race has flipped from if solid state will arrive to how soon. Tesla feels the heat. Rumor in Austin says Project Athena is real, a hybrid polymer ceramic cell aimed at leapfrogging Toyota by late 2026. Panasonic's Wakayama plant is already testing upgraded 4680 plus samples to back that timeline. Elon once joked solid state was 10 times harder than it looks. After Fuji, the stopwatch is running and the finish line is in sight. But listen, this isn't just spec sheet warfare, it's daily life. Imagine plugging in once a week, not every night. 
your driveway pack stores 80 kilowatt hours, enough to power the fridge, the lights, and the Wi-Fi through a six hour blackout. 800 volt bi-directional inverters make that plug and play. Utilities love it because cars soak up solar at noon and feed homes at sunset. Analysts say global energy storage capacity could triple by 2030, thanks in part to parked cars acting like giant power banks. Charging networks shrink too. A highway rest stop that once needed 12 fast stalls can survive with four. Cars spend less time plugged in, freeing both parking spaces and great capacity. Rural towns that feared being left behind need only one high power charger near the diner to welcome travelers. Gas station owners are already sketching new business models. Fewer pumps, more solar roofs, and a couple of eight minute chargers that never sit idle. The supply chain is healthier as well. The new electrolyte relies on sulfur, a byproduct of oil refining. Turning waste into battery gold creates a new revenue stream and trims the industry's dependence on hard to source cobalt. Nickel and manganese come from established suppliers in Australia, Canada, and Brazil, which stabilizes prices and calms geopolitical nerves. Automakers crave stable ingredients the way chefs crave a reliable spice wrap. But consider the villain of the story, manufacturing yield. Every ceramic sheet must be flawless. One microscopic crack and the cell is scrap. Pilot lines at Himeji already hit 93% first pass yield. Anything below 90 bleeds money fast. Toyota will crawl before it sprints. The first solid state car will be a limited run Lexus Grand Tourer in 2027, maybe 5,000 units, each one tracked like a lab rat. If the data stays clean, the technology trickles down to the mainstream Toyota BZ lineup in 2028. Public goal, 1 million solid state Toyotas per year before 2030. Now, jump ahead with me to 2030. Gas stations still exist, but half their pumps are gone. Solar canopies feed four 800 volt chargers. Cars arrive, slurp electrons for eight minutes, and roll out. Inside, people buy snacks instead of killing time for half an hour. Highway noise drops because electric pickups tow boats without turbo wine. City smog clears as solid state taxis run all day and charge while drivers stretch. Mechanics swap oil changes for brake fluid and cabin filters. A new line appears on monthly utility bills. Vehicle to grid credit, $28. Your car earns coffee money while you sleep. But listen to this. Governments rewrite rules as technology evolves. Safety codes update to recognize ceramic separators. Fire departments adjust training because battery fires now stand at near zero risk. Regulations that once demanded bulky liquid cooling jackets fade away letting designers draw sleeker cars with bigger cabins. Fleets notice too. Delivery companies love batteries that last 800,000 kilometers without swapping. Rideshare platforms smile at lower downtime and longer warranty periods. It gets even wilder when you think about motorsports. Solid state packs handle brutal track abuse without thermal throttling. Endurance teams picture refueling stops shorter than a tire change. Imagine the 24 hours of Le Mans with three electric pit stops, not 24. Racing that tech to the limit feeds software tweaks back into daily commuters. The same way Formula One gave us paddle shifters and carbon brakes. Back to today. If your lease ends next spring, a discounted Model Y with 4680 cells is still a rocket. But if you want a battery that laughs at 700 plus miles and keeps laughing for two decades, circle 2027. That's when Sakura 01's production cousin hits showrooms. And the day it lands, remember who first told you about it and subscribe.